Now you may have been wondering where I've been for the last few days. My Sony camera that I broke, which I mentioned in my other video, has been taking ages to actually repair, but tomorrow I get my camera back Thank the Lord. In the meantime, I've been doing Insta stories on Instagram, which you can check out at I'm Dan Thomas. And you can see what my Insta stories look like in more of a vertical format. And that's been like a fun experiment for me, but definitely I think YouTube is my preferred format for this stuff. Even just having a few days off has already started the doubts in my head. Couldn't you just not bother doing all of this and it would be a lot easier? And that's really triggered this vlog because I want to talk all about how you continue to stay motivated. How do you take a passion and keep working at it and doing it in the long term? Because that's the only way you're going to make these things work. Find other networks where you can tap into and get motivated by. If you start getting too samey, if everything never changes, if it just feels like a grind every single day, then it's time to mix it up. Whether that be through a collaboration, meeting new people, changing style, changing story, changing topic, whatever, stay diversified in your networks. It's gonna help you stay motivated. I so often get people coming up to me and saying, oh Dan, how do I go viral? And I'm like, go viral? No one even knows you exist yet. How could you possibly go viral? You've got to realize that this stuff takes a really, really long time. And if you're going to commit to this, don't be in the headspace that you think, oh, why isn't this working? Why aren't I taking off? Why isn't this happening? And have all of your motivation based on your success. All the good musicians always tell stories about how they would grind it out and go to gig after gig after gig just to get noticed, just to be recognized. And you're gonna have to do the same thing. Really, really believe that this process is gonna work for you if you just keep going for longer and longer. Gary V talks about his $1.80 process. He spent four years doing six to eight hours of commenting every single day. He was the only one that wasn't willing to give up. He trusted in the process. He grinded and grinded and grinded. He talks about how people would give up after a week, a month, three months, a year, and he never did, and that's why he's made it. You really have to be in it for the long run. Now, does this mean that you'll never have a day when you're not really demotivated and don't want to do it? No. Does it mean that you're not going to feel like quitting all the time? No. But what you can do, just start and do a little bit. How many times have you needed to go to the gym and you think, I don't want to go, and then you get there and you're like, what was the fuss about? What was the problem about? Even if you only come out with it with just a little bit, that's still a massive, massive achievement. And what you'll probably find is when you start doing a little bit, it will turn into something really, really good. This amazing orange low sun is such a great time of year for photography. You just get so much glow and so much contrast and so much shine from all of that. The golden hour has returned again. You should always talk to yourself like a friend would talk to you. And I think that's really good advice because to stay motivated in the long term, you have to really be friendly with yourself. You can't be beating yourself up about what you should have done or the quality you wanted to get. Appreciate that you're a person with limited time and limited resources doing their best throughout this thing and become happier with whatever you can create in the medium that you can create it in the time that you can create. If you can really come to terms with that and be proud of what you are doing and knowing that by persevering that is such a difficult thing that you should be proud of, that's gonna help you stay motivated in the long run. So talk to yourself like a friend, really, really important. Oh, one more thing. I actually recorded this as a clip and the sound didn't work, which you'll see in the subscribe note right at the end of this. Connect with your why. Find that reason why you are creating and doing the things that you do and really dig into what that means for you. It's not just enough to say, well, I wanna give loads of value to other people because if your why is purely based on other people's recognition of that, 
then you're gonna struggle, especially in the early days when nothing happens because you've got no followers and you're gonna get no comments and you're not gonna get any activity. Is it educating you? Is it pointing you in the right direction? Is there a story that you really wanna share? Do you wanna get your name out there? Do you wanna build your brand? What is your why? And keep that in your mind when you're creating and reconnecting with that why as much as possible. That's gonna help keep you in the right headspace. It's also gonna mean that you create for the right reasons. You know, you're not just creating to try and get likes and comments. You're still creating with the reason why you started it and the reason why you're passionate about that thing. All right, proper goodbye now. See you all again soon.